What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we are doing another review of an SH Figure Arts Tao Pai Pai, otherwise known as Mercenary Tao. Stay tuned! <laughs> All right, guys, so we have another SH figure arts. Like I said on my previous video, I am addicted to buying these things. Every time I sell one of my custom figures, I make enough money to buy one of these, these little, these little, uh, these guys. Anyways, um, this guy, if you guys don't know who he is, he's from the original Dragon Ball series. He beats the poop out of Goku. Ooh, I just spoiled it for you guys oops <laughs> but you know I, I don't want to give too much away but you know Goku's okay he's okay he, obviously you know he goes into Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball GT Dragon Ball Super Dragon Ball blah 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 Dragon Ball blah 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 but anyways um, he is one of the guys that um, one of the main villains in the original Dragon Ball series a lot of people didn't like him for some reason but this guy is freaking awesome uh, he does come out in a lot of the series. Um, I'll say like 10, 11, maybe 15 episodes. Um, so he is one of the main villains. Uh, he is a hired, um, he is a f hired assassin by the Red Ribbon uh, to assassin um, Goku. So, or Kid Goku to be exact. So, um, yeah, let's open this sucker up and uh, let's see what's the goods inside. Oh, package, package. This is the package. Uh, this is the front. This is the side. You can kind of see the stuff inside there. This is the back with a few little pictures here. That's the bottom. That's the other side. Just pointing. Oh, that way. There's the top. And let's open him up. All right, so this guy does come with a lot of accessories. Um, he does come with this pillar. If you guys seen the cartoon, you guys know for a fact that he breaks this pillar with his fingers, and that's why he has those two fingers like that, because he touches the top of the, the pillar, the bottom of the pillar, and then he just pushes it out, and the pillar falls. He carries the pillar, he shoots it through the sky, he lands on top of the pillar, and he flies through the sky on the pillar. Once again, spoiler spoiler anyways um he comes with a lot of accessories and different parts of the skirt to uh, make the skirt look like it's flying um and then uh, there you go he comes with this part that makes it look with the a little um little swoosh little you know like wind like, like, you know, like the thing, you know, goes here, and then the thing goes like the little pillar goes like here, and the pillar go looks like it's like you know flying through the sky and stuff like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, this little things here go to the pillar. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Let's open up Mercenary Tau. Ding 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 ding. Here he is, Mercenary Tau. He is one of the shortest characters. He is pretty short. I didn't think he was gonna be this short when I first saw him. Uh, but he's, he's he's pretty small. Um, he is, according to other people, he's accurate on his size. Uh, he's to scale with the other characters, from what I heard. But I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but he will kill you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Anyways, um, this guy is pretty awesome looking. Uh, another SH figure arts, of course, is gonna have one of the best articulations. Uh, foot kicks out that much. Unfortunately for this, hinders uh, the foot from going forward, or the leg, I should say, from going forward. So it doesn't really go forward that much. But like I said, there is a change of this. Uh, you could change it with the little skirt that moves to the side. That way you could kick forward. And I'll show you guys that in a little second. If you guys wait and be patient, be patient, kids, be patient. Anyway, so as far as articulation, he bows down, of course. Uh, this little thing goes like that. Uh, his head, uh, his face or his head does move down that much. But then they made a little articulation thing here around the, um, the this part of his shirt. The collar of his shirt. So uh, you could move his neck even 
lower for that reason and then you can move it uh, back for that reason so you could see like a bird poop on him like you could see it you know you could look up there's a bird poop right there anyways uh, so articulation rotates all the way goes up goes down um, he does have butterfly shoulders of course which I love on figures um, double jointed and then his fist like every other SH figure or it's swivels and turns and flips and it does all kinds of card wheels um, his foot does go that much down that much up uh, it does have a hinge at the toes and then uh, it does bend he has a double jointed uh, knee there it does bend you could you know fly through the sky yeah. and then um, yeah, he twists. He twists. He does the twist, and he turns, and he does the shimmy, and the shake. And then, as far as the face goes, his face is pretty good. <laughs> he looks like he's about to kill you, isn't he? I will kill you. Look at my shirt. I kill you. So, anyways. Um, as far as his hands go, here are his hands, the little two fingers, the ones that I told you that hit the pillar and breaks it. There's two of those. There's two open palms. There's a pointy finger so you can point out the bird when he's gonna poop in his face. It comes with a seven star Dragon Ball. I don't know where it starts at, there we go. Two, four, six, seven, yeah. I'm just making sure because I don't want you things. I don't want you guys to think, think that uh, <laughs> I don't know how to count. <laughs> and then, as far as his faces, let's change his, uh, his face. The way you do that is pop that sucker right out. Pop this sucker right back in. So you pop that out, and you pop this thing in there. And then he's got this tongue. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys don't know, um, this dude, he does uh, kill people with his tongue. He hits somebody and he paralyzes them. And that's why he has his tongue sticking out like that. Can you imagine that? Somebody killing you with his tongue like... <laughs> so he's just assassinating you with, the, with just it's <laughs> it's pretty gross dog anyways um let's change his face again so there's that one and pull this off and then pull the other one back on there we go so this is the yelly one and there he is um, now his skirt pieces like I told you you could just pull these things off and they have little pegs here so you could pull them off and then pull the new ones in there like that and put this one my thoughts then you put this one like that. And now he looks like his skirt is in the wind. So now he could kick a lot more higher up. And the reason I gave you this is because when he's in his pillar, um, when he's in his pillar, you could, you could uh, uh, make it look like his skirt is flying. So, he, you know, he's on his pillar. He's like, Kawabanga do oh wait that's Ninja Turtles gnarly dude <laughs> that's still Ninja Turtles what the heck am I talking about so anyways that's what he does with the skirt so it could look like he's flying through the sky flying through the sky I don't want to say the lyrics because copyright so anyways that's his pillar his pillar is pretty it's cheap it's just basically 
a piece of plastic <laughs> like a hollow piece of plastic is super hollow there's some details in there I seen other uh, youtubers that were um, doing a review on this guy they painted it this thing uh, like JP toys um, I seen him and he colored this stuff in there uh, it looked pretty good but I don't know I don't know if I want to color it or not I might 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 do it because I am a custom guy and I might just do that anyways they have all these holes and um, in different area codes and so these things right here uh, <laughs> um, they go into these things um, so when you put him on there uh, you could cover the other ones with these little pink things I don't want to take them off because I know I'm gonna lose them if I take them off so I don't want to take them off just yet but the way you connect him to the pillar itself is by taking these things off and then you could change those let me show you that now there's these uh, little white pieces in there if you guys could see those little white pieces it has a little peg that little peg right there connects to these things and you could it attaches to the bottom of his foot like that and then uh, you can connect it to any of the holes that you want so he's right there flying like that sorry through the air I don't want to do that again I don't want to open that little package for the simple reason that I know I'm gonna lose all that stuff uh, but let me show you the little um, the little effect here that they have the little effect piece. I'm gonna suck it up so the pillar goes here like so and then it goes here so then you have that little piece so it looks like it's flying through the air like in the cartoon on the cartoon series and then you have him on top like that and unfortunately my camera won't capture all that so I have to move it a little bit let's move the camera back a little bit there we go so it looks like he's flying through the air like that just like in a cartoon so you can relive relive all that goodness relive it in 3d form hi welcome to uh, another episode of recreating <laughs> you guys seen all those nasty videos i can't stand those videos you know when they eat and they they do all those nasty loud sounds Ugh. nasty nasty anyways um so that's it that's all he comes with uh, this is a really really cool figure all of you guys who are interested in the original dragon ball series i suggest you guys pick this guy up because he is really awesome and it does look like he just came right out of the cartoon except for the fact that you know how in the cartoon there's like a bunch of little little black uh, little black stripes all over the place and they give them a lot more detail even though this guy does have some kind of shading around his face but he doesn't have like the actual shading like in the cartoon that's one thing about the sh figures that are said they don't have it but there is this dude called av customs and there is another guy called uh, b customs that i follow on instagram these guys are really cool custom guys um they make a bunch of sh figure arts and they color them and they they paint them really cool uh, I've seen some that they have like they put all that detail the same thing as you see on the cartoon They put them in the SH figure arts. I might start doing that on mine because those that stuff looks really really cool to me So uh, shout out to them because they do a really good job um, but uh, Yeah, as far as uh, this guy goes um, as far as SH figure arts go uh, They knock this stuff out of the park um, That's why I love collecting these dudes because uh, I'm addicted to collecting them so for, for the next person that, you know, purchased with one of my custom figures, know that you are uh, helping the channel out for me to collect these guys and do more reviews for you guys. And then I might do some custom painting to these dudes. So my, stay tuned for that. Um, and you guys will see that on some other episode or some other show or some other, uh, another one of my episodes. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up the review. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. 
if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace